With this exercise we start with a numerical solution of dynamic systems. So since I will upload this Jupyter notebook, I guess I will skip the theoretical part. But here in theory you have the, an Euler method, an implicit method, predictor corrected, Euler and Runge Kutta. I just like to, would like to know that expressions for finding the solution at time step n for each method, Euler method, implicit are given here and later in our, in, in our exercise we will be using them so we will scroll up to, up to look at these expressions. And now I'll start directly with the task. So uh, given the uh, simple pendulum with the following initial conditions that at time zero uh, inclination angle is theta zero at time is zero, the angular velocity theta uh, zero is zero. An analytical solution is given uh, as the following. We have to solve this second order differential equation numerically, and we have to plot the rotation angle and or ang angular velocity against time, plot the phase diagram, and compare analytical and numerical results. So let's start first with the uh, explicit. So first uh, we have to convert our uh, second order differential equation into a system of first order equations. So we replace theta dot by angular velocity omega and then omega dot will be minus, uh, minus g over l times sine theta. We can write it in the following form. Yeah? And by discretizing uh, then uh, the theta and omega at time step n plus 1 can be found uh, using the values at time step n. Here the subscript defines the time step. This is the initial condition. So at time 0, theta is equal to theta 0, omega is equal to 0. First, we need the, to import some packages. We need to import numpy. math copy and now we have to define the parameters which we'll be using um, length uh, 10 g 9.8 theta 0 is the initial inclination angle we can it, it may be equal to 1 degree must be rotating. the total time during uh, for which we perform the calculation and the uh, time step delta t. Now we define the function which creates uh, this vector at, at time step n. So the input is theta, omega, g, and l. And the output will be array. Omega minus g over l times sine theta. So now uh, initial conditions will create as yn. So the initial inclination angle is theta zero initial angular velocity is zero. In order to store all the values of angle theta and angular velocity omega at each time step, we create here uh, an array. Initial time is zero, and we 
start with a while loop. While time is less than time total. And now we scroll up to the theoretical part and we see uh, for each time step n plus 1 we find the solution as yn plus delta t times our uh, defined function fn which we have already defined here so we just write y is equal to yn plus delta t times fn and the input will be our angle theta so y and zero angle velocity omega y and one g and length l and we have to update the old values and update the time and store uh, the values of each step. After the solving, the values of the angle theta and the angle or angle velocity are stored in the array y explicit. So now we come to an implicit scheme. We have the same system of uh, first order differential equations. Again, if we write uh, down a theta dot as theta at time step n plus 1 minus theta at the time step n over delta t and we did the same for omega we obtain this um, this expression however here on the right hand side since it is an implicit scheme uh, the values these values are evaluated at a time step n plus one now we can bring all the uh, variables at the time step n plus one on the left hand side and uh, leave uh, the variables at the time step n on the right hand side and obtain these uh, equations. This system of equations is nonlinear. We can solve it by uh, some Newton iteration scheme. However, we will just replace sine theta by theta. Then we can obtain the variables at time step n plus 1 by multiplying the values at time step n uh, with the matrix, with this matrix. So now let's define this matrix and we need to invert this matrix. We see that we, uh, this matrix is dependent only on time step G and L. So it's, since it is independent of any variables at any time step, we invert it only once in the beginning of our algorithm. Now we define again the initial uh, values. This is basically the same as in the previous uh, explicit scheme. And again, we define the N array to store the values at each time step. So now we have to solve it again start with time zero and the while loop so now here in each step uh, we obtain uh, the values uh, by multiplying matrix our matrix k with the values from the previous time step We have to update our angle theta and angular velocity omega and update the time step. And we have to store uh, our values.
Now we have the solution for the explicit and implicit uh, schemes uh, where in explicit scheme the derivative is a value time step n and in an implicit scheme the derivative is evaluated at time step n plus 1. To improve the solution we can use the predictor corrected scheme uh, where derivative is evaluated at both time step n and time step n plus 1. So first we evaluate the predictor step. It's, it's basically the same as the explicit scheme and then using this predict predicted value, we improve the solution in a corrected step. So uh, we start again uh, with the initial values. And we also define the array to store the values of angle and angular velocity at each time step. For the solution, we start again at time zero and uh, with the while loop. So first we evaluate the predicted value as in explicit scheme then using the predicted value we improve the solution in a character step where this part here is the contribution from the predicted value. Now we have to update uh, the variables and time. And we will store again the angular and angular velocity at each time step. For the Runge-Kutte method, everything is basically the same as in the previous schemes. We define the initial values, we define the array to store, uh, and we again have the while loop. But here at each step we uh, evaluate the derivatives at intermediate points and using them then we ob uh, obtain the value at time step n plus 1. So all we have to change is uh, this part within our uh, code. Now after solving it we uh, can plot the results. First we import the package for plotting. And define the time domain t using the function link space from uh, zero till until total time. And num here is number of samples created between zero and time total. We also would like to plot the analytical solution. We start with plotting the rotation angle for all methods, for an explicit method, an implicit method, predictor corrected, 
entering a quota and also we applied an analytical method to compare uh, with the numerical and analytical solutions. Uh, we plot here the zeroth component, so it means we plot the theta and we also use different colors and different li line uh, styles in order to differentiate between different methods. In order to plot the angular velocity, first we find the analytical expression for the angular velocity by simply taking the time derivative uh, of the expression for the uh, rotational angle. So, uh, and we obtain this expression, and then we can plot and compare angular velocity obtained uh, numerically, for example, an explicit method uh, with the analytical uh, solution. In this case, in order to plot the angular velocity, we have to take, uh, we have to plot the first component of uh, y explicit, whereas the zeroth component will be the uh, angle of ro rotational angle. And in order to plot the phase diagram, uh, uh, we have to both plot both zeros and first component. Uh, angle and angular velocity and how also we can here compare um, a numerical scheme for example an explicit with the analytical solution in uh, graph for theta we see that a numerical obtained solution with predictor corrected and runge kuta methods uh, are in a good agreement with analytical solution. However, uh, the implicit and explicit schemes diverge from the uh, true solution. It can also be seen, uh, for example, for the explicit scheme, it can also be seen on the graph for the angular velocity and also in the phase diagram. If we increase the size of a time step, the discrepancy uh, between the explicit scheme and the true solution will uh, even decrease, as we can, we can see here on a theta, theta graph and also angular velocity and a phase field. And by decreasing the size of the time step, we obtain uh, better results, what can be observed here for implicit and explicit schemes. Thus, for the large size of the time step, the numerical solution obtained with explicit scheme is blowing up to infinity, whereas the numerical solution obtained with implicit scheme introduces a numerical damping.